kali katika jamhuri hii yetu ya Kenya kwa sababu tawala zote aliwezi aliwahi kutumika aidha kama mkuu wa mkoa ama waziri kwa hiyo ni jambo ambalo lina kusifiwa sana na kwa sababu ya hilo nampa nafasi sasa kiranja walio wachache mheshimiwa Mutula Kilonzo kiranja walio wengi ni ambao kuni ina inalingana na mienendo ya kisiasa eh hey, mmepungua asante <laughs> thank you mr speaker allow me to condole with the family of yusuf haji and the people of garissa on behalf of the people of makwen and my family uh, mr speaker we have lost i don't even think words can confirm words are enough as many have said about the life and times of yusuf haji two I don't think it's enough and I want to say this I don't think it's enough to name a street after Yusuf Haji I don't think it's enough to name a building after this gentleman it's not enough I think we must emulate the public service mantra it, that was part of his DNA Mr Speaker it cannot be that you want to become a rich person because of public service that is also the lessons that somebody can serve for so long and yet just walk away a simple man the current public service is that you become a billionaire in public service that is the current trend if you are going to follow Yusuf Haji then you must follow him truly number 2 yesterday senator Wambua and I were left behind after everybody left after we laid him to rest this good senator this gentleman who served in the public service was laid to rest next to just another ordinary kenyan the humility the humility and simplicity of our brothers muslim brothers and sisters is something to emulate for all of us who have put who have made burials a national event a political event a fundraising event and everything else that is not godly mr speaker this gentleman and mr speaker this gentleman requested me at the beginning of this uh, session to be praying in my office and for the longest time mr speaker his mat was in my office if you see me thriving mr speaker is because of the blessings of yusuf haji <laughs> such a humble man that during the formula mr speaker and senator dulo didn't want to say it and of course i would not say it because i am sure he told me in confidence of the problems of bbi he mentioned to me and i will not say it here but i'm sure the powers that be know that he had some objections about some of the things that were done in the bbi report and I, it's fair to say so number 2 when the two three senators were arrested and i want to correct senator uta the only reason why he kept media away from that committee was because there was an allegation against one of the senators that he did not want to be made public that was the reason and he confessed that to me in my office the third one he also confessed to me that the reason that we had problems between uh, in the arrest of the senators is a disconnect between the DCI and DPP he said that also openly so if we are going to remember senator haji can we remember senator haji by doing the right thing not the politically correct thing the right thing but let me say this in terms of uh, mortality i of course uh, never um, was never privy to some of the ceremonies that are done by our brothers from the muslim faith the mortality the simplicity of just putting that man and the burial rites are, are something that all of us must emulate simple things that were done yesterday in fact when i went to the muslim cemetery yesterday they were cleaning there were people collecting papers everywhere can you imagine they are done roads it's how simple, simple people can do things
Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear colleagues, all is vanity, said Solomon. All is vanity. Vanity of vanities. Can we do the right thing in life and in death? And lastly, to say this, a lot of us came here when we were very young. And I want to and to, and us to be saying this to our colleagues when they are alive. And I said this when Yusuf Haji was here, before he made a comment about the formula. Let's thank people like Senator James Rengo, Senator Amos Wako, Professor Sam Ongeri, to serve with these people who are twice our age and to gain <laughs> and to gain from the experience of these good people who do not treat us as children and treat us as their peers is something we should never take for granted. So we want to tell you, our dear older colleagues, we value your wisdom, we value your wit, we value your advice. Let's say this when you can hear. So that, so that all of us then have matured in this house and are treated as equals because of all of you. And thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the additional minute. May the good soul of this good gentleman, who will never replace, who I watched in Yaliotokea when I was in primary and served with him, may he rest in peace. You have asked for forgiveness. This man has been forgiven, I can assure you, for the good deeds he has done. Let us pass this Building Bridges Initiative in his honor. That is the way to honor him. Because that is what he chaired. He can't have chaired a bad thing. He can't have. He couldn't have. And I'm talking to you, Naomi, Senator Naomi. He couldn't have chaired a bad thing. He would have refused. He never refused. And he went to his grave without saying a single thing that would have split this country. So let, let us build bridges in his honor. Thank you. Asante sana, Mwashimiwa. Kiranja walio wachache na sikia wanasimba walio wengi Lakini takwimu hazidanganyi Lakini pia umesema kwamba umemuombea pia dua Kwamba asamehewe makosa yake Kamba vile alivyokuwa kiyomba kujafisi yako Senator Naomi Wako